Hello everybody! In this video I would like to review configuration example of static null routes or uh, static routes to the null interface. So let's get started. A static route to null zero is a normal static route except that it points to the null zero interface which is a virtual EOS interface. Null interfaces do not forward or receive network traffic and drop all traffic destined toward them without adding overhead to the CPU of the router. Creating a static route to the null interface is a common technique to prevent routing loops and it uses a summarized network range and routes that are more specific point toward the actual destination. To configure static null route use the command IP route network network mask and then null zero interface. So let's review situation where we have uh, we need to have a um, null static route configured and how uh, can we configure a static null route. So I have topology where uh, there are three routers. All IPs are already configured on all routers. So I just can focus on uh, configuring IP uh, routes on each router. Uh, this uh, router is internet service provider and it's gonna have default static road 172.16.0.0 slash 20 pointing to R2 router which is inside organization. These two routers are inside organization and R2 router is gonna have also default static road pointing to internet service provider. So let's see what we have show IP interface brief. Uh, we have IPs, IP is configured, the interface is up, show IP route. Nothing is configured. So conf t, conf t, IP route uh, 172.16.0.0, 255.255.240. Zero and uh, next hop IP ten one one two, which is IP of a router uh, of our company. Let's go to R two. Conf T IP route IP route default uh, static route pointing to service provider ten one 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 and. Uh, Static route pointing to uh, loopback sub subnet three one seventy two sixteen three zero two five five two five five two five five zero next hop IP one seventy two sixteen uh, one two and let's go to last our router R three uh, this router is gonna have also um, default static road pointing to R2 172.16.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.
our pin failed and let's do trace route 172 16 10 1 first hope is gonna be an interface on our router r2 yes 172 16 1 1 and next one next hope is 10 1 1 1 which is uh, ip of our isp router and now we're gonna have uh, router 2 ip and now again isp so it's gonna loop between these two routers but if i ping for example something if i trace something like um, anything outside this network let's say uh, 192 okay let's see it should not a uh, loop inside uh, between these two routers it's just gonna drop it okay r2 service provider and that's it so only if a computer or your host sends packet to a subnet which is uh, which falls under 172.16.0.0 slash 20 which is default road from our isp in in this uh, particular case to avoid this situation we need to configure a static null road on our router r2 ip road uh, 172.16.0.0 255 255 zero and no zero so everything every packet that um, doesn't have longer much uh, longer than default uh, default uh, route on this router is gonna be sent to null static route so let's check now the same IP 172.16.10.1 let's wait a little bit we're gonna have again the same first hop which is our R2 interface and then packet is dropped so it's not going to go anywhere from r2 so this is uh, this how uh, static null route works uh, thank you very much for your attention at this point i would like to say thank you for watching my video i hope you liked it please don't forget to subscribe to my channel i wish you success in your studying and i hope to see you soon ciao ciao